episode, the first thing you want to do is um, open up um, Adobe After Effects CS5 and you want to click Composition, New Composition. Um, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it Intro 1 or maybe Intro Tutorial and select the preset HDV slash HDTV 720 29.97 and once you've got that selected you want to uh, check lock aspect ratio to 16 by 9 1.78 and you want to make the pixel aspect ratio square pixels and it automatically set the frame rate to 29.97 and you want to select um, set the resolution to full and duration to 10 seconds. Click OK. And if you don't have the seconds, control and click this interface here or these digits and went to it. Looks like this. And then you want to do it. Then you want to close the composition and do what I just told you to. So, how to make a new composition, you know. So what you want to do now is you want to hold up and try and press Y to make a new solid. Call it BG, just press enter for now. Get your text tool. I'm going to put a link in the description for this font. Um, so future MDBT uh, medium. And you want to make sure it's 72. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to default everything for now. Yeah should be fine so click so make sure it's white so click this here type in your name maybe I want to add a space Oops. Yeah, I'll do. So you want to get your selection tool and turn the title slash action action safe on, and you want to center it. So you might want to use your arrow keys to make sure it's almost perfectly centered like that. Um, keep your title action safe on as this will help you to line things up as you change some settings so you then want to press S on your keyboard and you want to um, put the uh, turn the scale on the keyframe scale on and make this a thousand for frame zero and you want to move it down here until you get it almost perfectly in the middle just keep moving it down like that Yep, that looks fine. Uh, you then want to move to uh, what is it? One second and make it one hundred and do the same. Might want to do what you did uh, before you started animating things. So that looks nice. Just make sure you're happy with it. Yep, I sure am. So what you want to do now is you want to press P and you want to turn the keyframe on and you want to drag it. Actually, no, move it. Yeah, move it in the middle, just like you did the scale options. The scale doesn't do much with this part. I mean, with this, but yeah. You then want to move to one second again, and you want to do the same. To make sure it's definitely in line. Just keep moving it like that, and have a look. So you can turn this off now. If you want to sharpen it up a bit, uh, turn the motion blue on. If these settings aren't here, press F4. Turn the comp position motion blue on. And take a look. So 
So that's what it looks like so far. If you want to make it look a little more interesting, you might want to adjust the scale adjustment. So uh, for this, you might want to yeah, so just go millisecond over. Move kind of up like that. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I think it was P. Yeah. Checking this. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so make sure you're pressing P here. Just go second over, I mean millisecond over. Drag it kind of up. Don't just keep doing this until you're happy with it. Maybe do... Whoa, 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 what happened there? Maybe move it to the side a bit. Do very minimum... Uh, adjustments because you don't want it flying everywhere really adds a nice kind of vibration effect might want to move it down and what you want to do now is you want to select your first uh, ad adjustment sort of thing and you want to paste it here Know why it's done that? Um, uh, yeah, just get your first keyframe, copy and paste it here. So it will kind of vibrate and go back into position. Let's preview it. Perfect. So, um, uh, I don't know what's stopping the motion blur there, but let's take a look. Oh, I think it's the composition motion blur. It's not on. Let's see if that makes any difference. Yep. A lot of difference. That's just what you want. So, what you want to do now is you want to press, uh, select your layer, press T on your keyboard, set keyframe for the opacity, make it zero here, and go over to one second and make it 100 so it simply just fades in and I'd say two seconds and 15 milliseconds make it zero see what happens or maybe not maybe make zero on three seconds zero milliseconds see what it does so that's nice so far, quite nice so far um, one more effect um, uh, minimize that for now and go effect blur and sharpen fast blur you want to turn the blurriness keyframe on make it 100 for frame 0 and good to I mean sorry not frame 0 0 seconds and go over to one second to make it zero and take a look kind of blurs kind of focuses sort of thing it's quite nice so let's take a look so that's our intro so far this is the end of part this is part one by the way um, this is just the pre this is just making the basic animation this is just the this is the raw kind of animation uh, so in the next two parts or one part whatever we'll be adding some kind of effects onto it stuff like that so yeah it's the end of part one Remember to thumbs up, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in part 2.